Hey guys, today we're walking through five advanced online security tips. These are things that I recommend you do. They take five minutes or less and they can have a huge impact on the security of your home network and your identity online. My name's Josh, this is VPN Video Reviews. Let's go ahead and dive into what these five things are. First, enable two-factor authentication. This can be done through your email client, through a number of different online software pieces that you use. So the way it works is, let's say I want to log into my MailChimp software. Before I can do so, I have to give them a code that I can only get on my authorized phone. That's two-factor authentication. Number two, hide your Wi-Fi. Creating a hidden home network is incredibly easy and it makes things so much better. What this means is that when someone goes searching for Wi-Fi, yours doesn't even show up in their Wi-Fi uh, options. It makes it even harder for somebody to hack into something that they can't find. Number three, use a password generator. It's common sense that you need to at least have a really difficult password, but that's hard for people to do. And it's hard for people to remember without writing it down or emailing it to themselves, both of which are not very secure. So using a password generator makes things a whole lot easier. It can be downloaded both on your desktop as well as your phone, and it generates passwords that you would never even think of and then helps you to remember them when you need them. Number four, use a VPN on all public networks that you get on. I don't care if you're at an airport, at a coffee shop, or even at your friend's house. You need to be getting on a VPN because it secures your internet traffic when you're on an open network. It's way too easy for people to infiltrate networks, to be able to spoof a, or to create a fake network that says free airport Wi-Fi that you get on, and that allows them to see everything that you're doing. This is a simple, not very expensive option that really secures your internet activity. Finally, number five, use an identity monitoring service. Something like LifeLock will allow you to get alerts whenever somebody tries to open a bank or, or get a loan using your information. This is the type of stuff that can really affect you down the road if your identity is stolen. So trying to nip that in the bud now, it's really smart and really easy to do. Those are my five advanced security tips. If you have others that I'm missing here, please put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and give Give this a like if it was useful.